What we have here is a bypass type flow control, pressure compensated. Uh, notice here we see our in uh, cast on there. We see EF with excess flow and CF down here, controlled flow. When uh, being a cutaway, we'll take that top cover off and get, get a, take a look inside of there. Now you can see, remember I said this was the in, so pump flow comes in. And notice here, right here, we've got our variable orifice right there. By adjusting that, turning that, we can change that orifice size. So this is, so the oil that's coming in will actually flow through this, this variable orifice right here, come into these holes right in here, comes through, transfers over to this hole right there, and comes out. Remember, this was our controlled flow side. Uh, there is a plug right in the compensator. This is known as our compensator spool. This is our compensator spring. The oil that's coming in here and going out the controlled flow, whatever pressure is in this controlled flow line will also be sensed in this spring cavity right here as well through a tiny orifice on the inside of this compensator spool. The excess oil, the oil that can't fit through that variable orifice right there, starts to back up on the, on the back side of this compensator. Now, it fills up this part of the spool, but you notice these holes here are blocked by the land. So the only way for this oil to get out would be to come into this port. To be able to do that, this oil here, the excess flow, would have to overcome spring pressure, compensating spring pressure, and load pressure. So an example would be that if my spring is a 100-pound spring and I've got 400 PSI pressure in the control flow side, until this excess flow can overcome 100 PSI spring pressure and 100 P, uh, 400 PSI load pressure, at 500 PSI now, it'll start to compress this compensator uh, and move the compensator uh, to the left. And when, as, as it starts to move to the left and it exposes these holes here, now my excess flow can escape back to tank.